Hello and welcome to the Synopsys Optical Solutions Group training series. In this video, we will demonstrate the position tolerance feature on light tools, including the XY position coupling feature. We will also discuss the XYZ and alpha, beta, gamma tolerance sets available on the right-click context-sensitive menu for entities and groups. In this first example model, we have an automotive light bulb group with the glass bulb hidden for clarity. The bulb has been decentered and rotated for demonstration purposes. We also have a reference user coordinate system which is aligned with the group coordinate system. In the system navigator, we will right click on the light bulb group. Here we see add position tolerances, add x, y, and z tolerances, and add alpha, beta, and gamma tolerances. The position tolerance is a special type of tolerance which we will discuss later. The second two tolerances are provided as a convenience over adding the individual tolerances one by one. Let's go ahead and add the X, Y, Z tolerances. If we now open the tolerance manager, we can see that three individual tolerances have been added. These are displacement tolerances and are tied to the global coordinate directions. To demonstrate this, we will add a perturbation to the Z tolerance. Open the Tolerance Manager and select the Z tolerance. On the Tolerance Perturbations tab, we will add a perturbation of 2 millimeters and click Apply. Notice in the 3D design view how the entire bulb group displaces along the global Z axis. We will reset the perturbation. We can repeat this with the Y tolerance with similar results. We will now delete the tolerances and add a position tolerance to the group. A position tolerance subnode is added to the tolerances menu and six tolerances are added underneath X, Y, Z, alpha, beta, and gamma. These tolerances are oriented along the group's or entity's coordinate system. The reference entity can be seen on the position entities tab. Back on the coordinates tab, we can perturb the system by changing the tolerance perturbation's Z tolerance to 2 millimeters and clicking Apply. Note that the group now moves along its Z axis as noted by the reference coordinate system and not along the global Z axis. The same can be done with the other coordinates or rotations. The Pairing Controls tab is a special feature of the Position Tolerance. This tab allows you to pair the X and Y position tolerance together so that the area covered is circular or elliptical rather than square or rectangular. To demonstrate this feature further, we will load a new model. In this model, we have created a special block made of air with a conical section subtracted from it. An NS ray, shown in red, passes through the block nominally at the vertex of the cone. We will add a position tolerance to the NS ray and then disable all but the X and Y tolerances. Now we set the tolerance values for both X and Y to 2 millimeters. We will now add the geometric path of the ray through the block as a performance measure. This is done in a manner similar to adding an NS ray merit function. First, we select the ray in the system navigator tree. 
we right click and select Add Raise to Tolerance Performance Measure New. For the target surface, we will select Cube 1 Left Surface, which is the entry surface for the cube. And for the target data selection, we will select Geometric Path and click OK. We can now go to Tolerancing Monte Carlo Results. Here, we will enter 50,000 trials and click Run Monte Carlo Trials. Since we do not require a simulation to evaluate the performance measure, the calculation time is relatively short. However, we will skip forward to the end of the calculation. Now that the calculation is complete, we can look at the histogram chart. Changing the number of bins to 50, we can see a linear progression from 0 to 2 millimeters. This is exactly what we would expect from a circular distribution. Now we will uncheck the pair X and Y tolerances checkbox to obtain a square distribution. Returning to the Monte Carlo controls, we will rerun the Monte Carlo analysis. Now that the calculation is complete, we can return to the histogram chart and see that the distribution has changed. The progression is still linear up to 2, but now we have a significant tail beyond 2. This represents the corner values that were not present in the previous run. The maximum value is 2.82, which is 2 times the square root of 2 and exactly represents the diagonal value from the center of the square to the corner. In this training video, we have demonstrated the use of the position tolerance for entities and groups and looked at the XY coupling feature. If you have any questions or need technical support, please contact us at lighttools underscore support at synopsis.com. Thank you for watching.